And cinema now, what we are going to see today is IFI's 50th edition, International Film Festival of India. You know, one another interesting thing happened in the digital era is this international film festivals. Today, all major cities in India are holding the international film festivals. In the beginning, there was only one major international film festival in India that was called, even being called today, is IFI International Film Festival of India. It is completing 50th year this year. It's happening from 20th of November to 28th of November in Goa. What is so special about this 50th edition of IFI? You know, the first edition of IFI took place in as early as 1952 in Mumbai. Then it was called Bombay with the initiative of Jawaharlal Nehru. Of course, people like Satyajit Rai, Bernal Sen were all running Calcutta Film Society. Those days were also part of that festival in selection of films, inviting filmmakers. In between this IFI also turned to kind of a film so that have taken place other major towns other than uh, Delhi. That's how it has taken so long, 50th edition in 2019. Of course, much before IFI, there were film festivals in the world. In fact, just 37 years after the birth of cinema, the first international film festival was held in Venice. There's the first international film festival. Even today, the three major big brothers, big three, are Venice Film Festival, Con Film Festival, and Berlin Alley. These three are the one. But if he, India's International Film Festival is the biggest one in India, not only in India, it's also the biggest one Asia. It's been recognized by the International Federation of Film Festivals as early as in its fifth edition. If he, has introduced competition section as early as in its third edition. So the top film, the best film in the competition section got the award. It was called Golden Peacock. Even today it is called Golden Peacock. In this 50th edition, students and others should know the special events that are going to take place. The one is the IFI 50th edition is going to screen 10 important Oscar winners that includes Casablanca, all about a Godfather kind of films. Another very important event is they have selected eight important films that won Golden Peacock in the last 49 years. I must tell you guys, you should not miss this following three films. One is Tulpan from Kazakhstan, other is uh, Leviathan from Russia, and the third one is the inaugural film in the section uh, Gamparelia from Sri Lanka. Here I must talk a little bit about the Gamparelia. This was produced in 1963. That year it won the Golden Peacock in IFI. Not only in IFI, it also won many major international awards. In 2008, Cannes Film Festival arranged a special screening of this film. Later, it was released all over the France. Who directed this film? This film was directed by Lester James Paris. Lester James Paris is an important filmmaker from Sri Lanka. He is almost the contemporary of Satyajit Roy, or maybe even a little uh, few years earlier than Roy he started producing films. I remember in the early 80s, with the initiative of Satyajit Roy, Lester James Pierce's retrospective was organized in Delhi. When I saw some of those few films, I was stunned, my God. Sri Lanka, such wonderful films are being made. To know what kind of a filmmaker he is, you must see Gamparelia. And it's a very simple film. You know, it talks about the uh, surface tensions in the relationship, but it goes deeper into the tensions of the particular time in the 60s. It's a simple love story. You know the story of Gamparelia? The protagonist is a young, handsome man from a low caste. He gives English tuition to a girl who belongs to a rich and a high caste family. They fall in love. 
obviously family do not agree they look for another man from their own caste from their own status but that's where the film reflects the what was happening at the time in Sri Lanka there was a economic go down the rich man who was supposed to marry goes pauper what happens to this lovers the film doesn't have a tragic ending but it has a beautiful portrayal of the time you have to watch it and Lindsay Anderson from UK so they did try praise this film for the elegance and the Chekhovian uh, feel i will talk about few more important films to be watched in the ifi 50th edition in the next episode